Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Yeah, it was an assault. Uh, to our Assassin's Creed Valhalla playthrough. This is episode number um, 618. So, last time, we were all the way up here where we are now. We completed Manius' Sanctum. This episode, I'm coming down here to um, explore the Chertsey Abbey ruins. Grab the curse symbol here and deal with it, and then grab this piece of wealth in Hamptonshire. And then, if we have time, we'll uh, loot up part of Kinnabel Castle. So, let's go. Yeah, I don't want to go through London's outskirts. Now, Manius' sanctum was obviously pretty small. Um, in fact, it was, like, it was definitely an introduction, considering there were, like, two traps. So, um... Yeah, it's just giving you a heads up as to what kind of traps you'll find, I assume. Alrighty, let's mount up. On my new best friend, Ursa the Bear. And yeah, we're going to start at the Chersey Ab Chertsey Abbey Ruins, which is where we first found the... Where we found that, uh, or where that mad monk cam uh, comes from, where his 99 brothers you died. Die! Man, I feel like I'm back in Bannerlord. That really feels authentically Banner Lord. Oh great, there's another one. Hmm. Revenge note. No revenge note. Uh, here's the Mad Monk's former uh, hideout. Over here is where he put up a curse symbol over the bodies of the Danes he slaughtered. We follow this road. There it is. The ruins. This must have been a few years ago at least. Wasn't the treasure map's answer, like, somewhere over here? Let's see if I'm insane. Oldest tree, it's got to be that one. These fireflies? Right here. So what was it? Whoops, not that. I'm pretty certain there's gonna be fireflies here at night. Yep. Or not, that's not a firefly. Are there really no fireflies here? 
That's my cat once outside. No fireflies. Or at least no capturable fireflies. Alright. Let's explore the ruins. Shame these ruined structures were rent asunder. It was an ability book. Okay, that makes it more worth it. Oh, right up there. Old Roman murals. Boom. Well, that took me forever to find. It's back here, Tomb. Tomb. I don't know if that's like a coffin or an altar. Honestly, it feels like the two are pretty interchangeable. Destroyed shields. And axes. Looks like they pretty much boarded up this place and waited for death.
Looks like it's just sandbags now. Oh, I did have it, okay. Yeah, it looks like they barricaded themselves in here to die. If the dog starts barking at nothing again. Alright, let's head in here. Grab the ability book. God, I swear my dog is gonna either burn out his vocal cords by the time he's 10 or he's gonna make me try to commit something like smashing my head against a wall to try to be free of his annoying bark. Alright, I think I know what I have to do. Oh, there's no seal, or no, like, window. Can't shoot it through here. Nor through here. Well, like, I suppose I could take a, an attempt, but I can't really. Oh, I did have to shoot it through this one. Oh. Well, I'm just dumb. Can I get up? Talk to book of knowledge. Ability upgrade. Blinding rush. Another piece of wealth here at Suffolk Stone. Over here, so blinding rush has finally been fully upgraded. Okay, so now I can. Wow, that's bloody. I can do it as many times as I want. Okay. Smoke bomb arrows aren't really that useful compared to the poison arrows. Go, Minor Hunter Rune. The Church the Abbey Rune's done. Found what there was to find. Surprised they didn't try to rebuild. I feel like they probably could have. Damage wasn't too severe.
already. Let's head. Wait, this might actually be a Roman artifact. Roman artifact. Let's pick it up then. And this forest. Alright, let's move. I think I see my way in. Yep, here's my way in. I want in! Oh my god, I hate this so much sometimes. Yeah, I was anticipating that. Underground corridor. I like it. Then climb one level. And climb a second level. Knocked over candelabra. I think this is an altar. And the Roman mask. There we go, another artifact of Oxenford Shire down. Trying to get all the fox furs over with. And by the way, the only reason why I'm killing foxes is for the fox fur. Only reason why I'm doing that 
is because I'm doing a completionism playthrough. That includes doing all of Wallace's challenges, which means I'm going to have to take out polar bears and seals as well. I don't actually think I need anything from squirrels. Not anymore, at least. Yeah, the deer, it's for the animal hearts, the guts, and the bones. Actually, I think that's what you get from squirrels. Now that I think about it. That thing can run, that squirrel. Alright. I think I'll leave that for another episode, and I need to just... Let's go deliver stuff to Wallace, and then I need to end this recording chunk, it's too much. What have you got? You and Petra chasing a what? Beautiful, beautiful. Nature is amazing. I have something to interest you. Bringing me this would be helpful. Good. This will help the settlement. I have five. Might as well just do keeping warm. I need I six really more. Use this. This will be a great help. Alright, so I need six more foxes. <laughs> I'm looking for this. Nope, I need seven more. Great. I knew I could count on you. Bringing me this would be helpful. Seal tail. How does this have bones in it? We always have need for this. Animal guts and animal heart. Like, why not? I'd pay well for this. The, um, why not the dog teeth? Or something. Or the lynx, or the rabbit's foot. 
Hmm. Bringing me this would be helpful. Might as well just finish the bulk of crew. Nothing else? No, nope, not for now. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Hope to see you again soon. Alrighty. This is where the episode ends. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I will see you guys on the next one.